Chapter 2 Suspicious Activities Zishan had been really worried for the past few days. Explosions were happening all over the country, in Peshawar, Rawalpindi, Quetta, and almost every city you could think of. Every night at 9 o'clock, he would sit in front of the TV, praying that there wouldn't be any news of explosions that day. And then, he would argue with his father, trying to understand why these explosions were happening and why the saboteurs responsible for them hadn't been caught yet. Zishan's father was a senior police officer, known for his bravery in dealing with criminals. He used to go after robbers who hid in the forests of sin, kidnapping people and demanding large ransoms for their release. Zishan remembered a day when his father had come to him and said, Son, I want those robbers to kidnap you. It was all part of a well-thought-out plan. Zishan was trained, and the bandits did kidnap him. With Zishan's help, the police managed to find the bandits' hideout. Zishan's father's name was Imran, but most people called him Mr. Aga. He had recently been transferred from Karachi to Rawalpindi, where he now worked as a senior instructor at the police academy. He was a highly experienced police officer, and the government had hired him to train new police recruits. One day, some senior police officers came to Mr. Aga's house, and Zishan overheard them talking about their worries regarding the saboteurs. The situation was quite confusing, and Zishan couldn't make sense of it. He went to Mr. Aga for advice. The police had arrested some people they suspected of being saboteurs, but they were receiving recommendations from various sources to release them, claiming that they were not saboteurs but respected individuals. What do you think? Mr. Aga asked the police officers. Are the people we've arrested innocent, or are they saboteurs? Inspector replied, it's hard to say for sure right now. We haven't started the investigation yet, but we arrested them because they were involved in suspicious activities. The problem is, after every arrest, we start waiting for referrals and phone calls. The longer the delay, the slower the wheels of justice turn. We should prioritize the investigation immediately after an arrest so that we can determine if we've made a mistake. If we have, we should release the innocent person as soon as possible. Zishan listened quietly, realizing that the saboteurs had been caught, and now his father would do everything in his power to ensure justice prevailed. Bye.